What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be just talking about something in my team. And lads, I'm late to this, obviously. I'm obviously late to this. Like, this is just something that's just weird. Um, Honestly, like, I'm just exhausted, obviously. You can hear it in my voice, you can hear it from my previous couple of videos today. And you'll probably hear it from the last video that I'm going to upload today as well. I'm just absolutely exhausted after yesterday's 12 videos, but um, as I always say, the show must go on. But 2K basically have just done something very, very confusing. But before we get on to that, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to hit 238,000 subscribers by the end of this weekend. So again, if we can get to like 500 maybe by the end of the day, we're on decent enough shape. But anyway, um, whether you hit it or not, it's not the biggest deal. I just really do appreciate all the support recently on the channel. But anyway... Anyway, so what we saw in the pack market, we saw Hero Super Packs back. Like, they literally expired. Like, they were awful. Just a heads up, they're awful. In fairness, they actually might have the best odds of all the Super Packs. Like, I might have to say that, but like, you guys can see from the prices, you would expect Steve Nash to be way, way down in price. You would expect Nash to be really far down in price. But the problem is that, like, again, no one opened these packs. These packs were, these cards were cheaper before these packs came out. Like, Caroline Teen Towns, I thought maybe, maybe Cap might go down to, like, 10k if people are actually opening these packs. Because, as you'll hear later, 2k said by popular demand. People cared about them. The cards got an open price today. I think that shouldn't, that shouldn't be. Obviously, obviously, for like these cards up here, you're seeing more like Jordans. You're seeing the price of like Jordan drop. Jordans actually drop about 700k, but I think that's people realize Phil Jackson and um, Popovich aren't all that. Popovich is a worthless card. Popovich is, I mean, he is borderline worthless, this coach. Give me Frank Vogel over Greg Popovich. Like, I'm being dead serious. Give me Frank Vogel over Greg Popovich. But in a tweet from 2K, Hero packs returned by popular demand. By popular demand. From who? Who wanted these packs? I get it. You can't, um, I get it. You can't go and put out Hero or put out like season six super packs, Age of Hero super packs, because they're coming Tuesday. We all know that the full season super packs, we know that they're coming Tuesday. But 2K, like, could you not just put on different packs? But again, you have to just release them, release some, you have to put up something that you'd already put out and say backed by popular demand. Like, there's, there's just no popular demand. No one cares about these packs. Like, no one really cares about super packs. And this is the, the best thing. You realize twice and re release, uh, or sorry, Denver. Bro, y'all release these twice in a week, sales must be down horrendous. And I fully agree. And you know why sales are down horrendous? Exactly what I said. Um, geez, my hair is somehow uh, coming out through the hat. It's in a very, very bad way, by the way. And the reason why I sales are horrendous is what I said a couple of weeks ago. Nobody cares about idols packs anymore. Like, there is no, like, 2K. I get it, you want to push idols. Move idols to midweek. You will make more money doing that. You will make more money putting idols midweek and only releasing, like, three idols VIP players. Replace buzzer beaters or whatever the Tuesday packs are with like idols. One, you'll, you'll get back on track with idols every second Tuesday making idols. One one Tuesday make it like an international set, one Tuesday idols. Bada bing, bada boom, you've made more money 2k. But like, no, what you're doing now is you're trying to force a set that nobody cares about into onto us as the big, big Friday drop. And it's hit your pockets. It's hit your pockets. You obviously thought that putting out a Dark Matter Kevin Garnett was gonna make it, was gonna be hype, but it's not. Nobody cares about idols packs anymore. And the biggest thing that people were, t I literally said it in my video, and I was like, in my St. Patrick's Day one, I was like, 2K have to start releasing Idols Packs midweeks because nobody cares about Idols Packs anymore. And everyone's like, no, I love Idols Packs. They have had to release Super Packs on a weekend. That's how bad the sales were on Idols Packs. And there's obviously another reason that 2K probably expected the sales yesterday specifically to be true to roof. And they didn't go true to roof. There's a specific reason that I don't want to mention, um, but it, it could... Because it could get me quite in trouble, but some someone it's been it's been on the screen so far. But um yeah, basically, like you can tell that nobody's opening these packs. 
But nobody wanted the packs in the first place. Like, you're, like, backed by popular demand? Who's completing their hero collections? Like, fair enough, you want to make it easier to complete the hero collection. Make the hero collection worth something if you want to do that. Make the rewards better. Nobody wants to complete hero collection because Popovich sucks. And the thing is point, pretty pointless because everyone has a 90 plus 3 ball right now. Unless you want to use Yanis for, like, the next two weeks before we get a better Yanis. Like, there was a bunch of tweets here. It was like, hey, my team, can you guys please drop hero super packs? To be fair, though. To be fair, though. This is a funny tweet. He also spelled heroes wrong. He also, like, as, as funny as this tweet is, I don't think that many people are asking for hero super packs. And if they are asking for hero super packs, like, I think... I think maybe you need some you need to spend some money on spell check rather than spending money on packs. But like I can guarantee you no one asked for these packs because like we were laughing on Tuesday that like how bad these packs were and like nobody actually cares because outside of the hero cards in these packs, there's nothing. Like the hype for hero cards is gone. Like it's it's gone. It's it's just simply gone. Like we got like the novelty was there. There was hype for hero cards for the start. You know what? It was pretty like it was a great concept. Like, we, like, there's so many situations we have to give 2k props. Like, two, Heroes is a great concept. This season has been a great, great season. But, like, what's the point of just releasing these back? But, like, why would you even take them? Like, why would you not just extend them? Like, why would you not just extend them? Like, if you wanted to keep them, if they end, yes, this, they ended a day. Why didn't you not just extend them through the weekend? Why not, did you not just tweet and you were like, you, they were like, oh, limited packs for 72 hours. And within one day, they get put back on. So, like, they're there, available for a limited time as well. So, maybe, maybe f a few people were fooled by, like, 2K putting in um, packs for, like, a limited time. Maybe you're like, oh, um, I need to get hero, hero super packs because it's my best chance of getting heroes cards. Again, most people won't think like that, but a casual might. And then they go and buy these packs because they think they're only in the game for a certain amount of time. And then as soon as they go, they get put back up. It's just like... I, just, I know what 2k are doing. Like, we all know what 2k are doing. Like, the idols packs yesterday didn't sell like people expected because nobody cares about idols. Simply put, that is the, the cold hard facts of what happened yesterday. No one cares about idols, no one opened idols packs. And obviously people did, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, in the tens, if not, if the, in the tens of millions 2k make from every Friday pack drop, they probably made maybe a third, two thirds max of what they'd make from a normal pack drop. Probably less than half of what they make in a promo. Probably two thirds of a flash pack. Um, like yeah, there's just, it's just, you. We can see the way the game is gone. Like people that have played the game knows the where the hype is, and 2K by just putting these packs, putting these packs back in, and especially by making them VC only again. Like, it's just, I get it. They want to make money. I get it. They want to make money. But, like, there's, there's so many other things they could have released. If they wanted to make money instead of releasing Hero Super Packs, you know what would have actually been kind of cool? You know what I think would have been kind of cool? If you put... Quantum, Pantheon, and Retro Packs back in. I think that's cool. I think that's fine. Because that's something a little bit different. Because, you know what, there might actually, there is actually some demand for that. And I'll be the first to admit, there is definitely some demand for these promo packs coming back in. Like, people open these promo packs a lot and win. Especially during my team festival and everything, there is demand for that. So, like, that would have been a lot cooler. But you just release packs that nobody cares about onto the market. And then you're there, like, who's completing hero collections? These are backed by popular demand when no one actually cares. Is this a big deal in the grand scheme of things? Absolutely not. This is absolutely not a big deal by the grand scheme of things, uh, in the grand scheme of things at all. Like, this is, of all the things that 2K have done that I would see negative, this might be the most minor thing. This might be one of the most minor things. They're trying to make up lost money from yesterday. But at the end of the day, like, the one thing I've realized over the last year is that the vast majority of people follow this channel. Not for this high-quality gameplay. The vast majority of people subscribe to this channel to hear me talk about 2K. And talk about what's going on in the game. Talk about just the game mode in general. Just talk about it. And... This is something that I have to talk about. It's something 2K brought in that I just think it's just it's just kind of tone deaf more than anything. Like it's not a it's not a bad thing per se. They're just putting in pa optional packs, but like 
it's it's just tone deaf. It is just tone deaf. Because by popular demand, like, no, just no. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Again, not the biggest deal in the world. If there, there's a lot of things give 2K hate over, this is just like, this is one where it's just like, you just look at 2K and be like, why did you think this is a good idea? Like, it's not a big negative. It's not something that's like, that's even a bad thing. It's something we're going to look back on in a couple of weeks and laugh that they thought this is a good idea. But it's one of those like just head scratchers and you're like, maybe, do they actually think, like, if 2K actually think this is what people want and how people are going to spend their money, like, they, they're as, they're more tone deaf to this mode than I thought. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.